Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Dexter with Russo's Reptiles, and uh, yeah, coronavirus sucks. Um, been busy, been quarantining, been working after quarantining, and uh, now just trying to fix a little problem. Came in yesterday, and my herpstat alarm was beep, 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 chirping at me, and uh. I had a heat panel apparently go out. I'm not sure if it's the cord yet. Um, I did a little troubleshooting. It's not the herbstat, thank God, because I just put that thing in. Um, I think it's the heat panel. So, I'm going to see. Um, yeah, just thought I'd give y'all a little update. Show y'all some snakes once I get everything back together. But I'm going to show y'all what's going on. So, right now... I'm cleaning out uh, everybody's cages because unfortunately the heat panel that went out is Maganda's and hers is on the bottom which means I got to take Lilith out which I've already done clean up all her substrate which is fine she probably do for a clean cage anyway Sorak who as you can see did not want to come out and I put him back in because he was not having it so I'm going to get everything with Lilith finished first my god has been out since yesterday. I put her in a little temporary tub just to keep her warm. And, uh, yeah. There's Ghost. Ghost! Ghost! Don't do that. You're on TV. What? But, uh... Yeah. Hopefully we can get this fixed. Uh, should be... Should be something easy. I'm, I'm really thinking, uh... So you got the heat panel. I know the lights kind of suck. And I got the power here. I'm kind of hoping that maybe, because she unplugged it a few weeks ago, and I'm kind of hoping maybe it just got wet, and maybe the cord might be a little bad, and it's not connecting, and I, I can fix that. Or, you know, if the heat panel, I'm going to plug it up to another source of power, and it's just not working, and then I guess I'll just have to call uh, Reptile Basics and see what I can do about it, but, yeah. Let me get all this cleaned up and fixed. And, uh, yeah, I'll show y'all the finished product or give y'all a little bit of information on what's going on. So these sensor push, I found some new, some new spots for them. I took, uh, some of these little hooks that I had from the LEDs, if it'll focus. There we go. And just hung them up there. They work great. Really, uh look into that if you guys want to keep track of what's going on when you're not at home but anyway let me get these uh taken care of cleaned up and i'll uh, show y'all everybody's nice and happy okay so i found the issue so as you can see right here, I have a little notch that I drilled out. And what I do is, I lay the wire in and put the top on. Well, I just wallowed this out some more. But uh, I guess I didn't go deep enough. And it might be kind of hard to see. Got a little pinch on the wire. Now, this wire still works. Um, I did take it out and tested it on another uh, heat panel, but seeing as this is uh, live animals we were talking about, uh, I'd feel a whole lot better just swapping the cable out. I have another cable. I'm going to try to get in touch with uh, Reptile Basics and see if I can get another one. Um, like I said, I probably could wrap this in some 33 tape. And it would be fine, but I'd rather not take the chance of a short or, you know, in some instances, possibly a fire. So we're going to go ahead and replace this wire, put a new wire in. This should have fixed it, wallowed it out, you know, should see in there like it's supposed to now. And then hopefully we can get everything back together. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. Heat panel works fine. There's nothing wrong with the heat panel. It's definitely uh, just bad wire.
that took a little longer than I wanted it to, but there it goes. But we got everything back up and running. But, but we got everything back up and running. Um, actually, so it wasn't the wire. Uh, I thought with the pinch wire, that was for sure it. I put everything back together, plugged thermostats in, and no heat. So I had to pull everything back off again. Unfortunately, it's the bottom one, so I had to, you know, take that apart, pull the heat panel, pull the heat panel out. Um, I thought it was working fine earlier, but I plugged it in with a newer, uh, a newer cord from one that I haven't taken out the box yet because I'm still waiting on my fourth uh, animal plastics to come in. And uh, yeah, the heat panel, I don't, I don't know what's going on. All of these are less than six months use. Um, I don't I don't know, they're all sealed, so I don't know how the internals work. I mean, there could be a fuse in there that might have blown it could have been you know something simple like that but uh i'm probably gonna have to get in touch with reptile basics um you know not bashing them or anything just stuff like that happens no big deal see what they can do about it and uh you know, if they can't fix it i might have to venture over to pro products next you know see what happens but everything's back up and running kind of Letting it get uh, warmed up. I'm going to spray everything down, put some water in there, and then get all the snakes back in their home because I'm sure they're tired of uh, being in a bag waiting to get back in. So, sorry about the video. I know it's uh, up and down, then landscape up and down. And uh, I was a little more concerned with getting the issue fixed than making the video as awesome as possible. So, uh, yeah, sorry. But, uh, yeah, we uh, got the problem fixed. Got all the animals back in place. I don't know where to look on my phone. I'm trying to look at myself. And my eyes aren't matching. Anyway, we got it fixed, and uh, like I said, hopefully uh, I can get a, a replacement or something, and it's fixed. Luckily, I had an extra one. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to try to do maybe some more videos while, you know, everything's a little hectic, but it's kind of tough. But uh, y'all uh, stay safe. Later.